Round two, first pair coming alive. Jasmine Salinas driving the scrapper's machine and Scott Dean in the blue OTG car. And I guarantee you, everybody in the scrapper's shirts over here on the left side of the racetrack are looking over there. And they're just seeing a Randy Meyer car. Because these two teams have gone at each other quite a few times. Not necessarily these two drivers, but certainly these two teams. Scott Dean out of Kansas. Qualified in the number two spot. And Jasmine Salinas qualified in the number 10 spot. Now, Jasmine is here because she won the last race on a hole shot. She did not have the quicker car, but was able to get it off the starting line quick enough to hold on to the finish line. That may be part of the recipe here as well because Scott Dean's car has been running pretty solid. Of course, that's a car that has won a couple of championships. Randy Meyer and the gang that now has their entire focus on just the one. You're going to see a nod from one side to the other between crew chief car owners. You're going to sig signal to the drivers. And one of them is about to punch their ticket into Sunday. Wow, Jasmine really rolled that thing in a ways. How about it? How about it? 539 with the top light out for Jasmine. 272 miles an hour. Scott Dean's car slowed to a 546 at 260 miles an hour. Jasmine was rolling in thinking she'd probably need a little help in reaction time and tried to get it by going deep. There's nothing wrong with playing that card. But Scott Dean's car, and hopefully we get another look at that, it did not run like we expect a Randy Meyer car to run. Clipping off the timers in just 5.46 seconds in conditions like this. So, Jasmine, the scoreboard says 539, but I guarantee you, I think it ran closer to 532 if she'd have had her stage shallow, but you got to do what you got to do on race day, and what Jasmine is doing is going to the semifinals. Take another look on the NHRA.TV replay. Watching the OTG machine. I, mean, I didn't see anything blatant. Well, maybe a little smoke out of one of the pipes down there, but I can promise you this. Randy Meyer did not pull that car up here to the start line thinking to himself, we're going to run 546 and win this race. 